Hello friends, this is Manas Tabari here. Today we'll learn about the issue ID. Issue ID means check the user ID of an FDP. So, I have a local host here. Now, so I'll install our local DM. I'll tell how the uh, the ACYD uh, by explaining this through an example. So when I say this that uh, ACYD means that set the user ID of an execution. Uh, let's see an example. You know that it is based on 644 permission so it's readable by all readable effect. and it is a shadow is only operation to the root user of the super user Now let's see the permission of the executable password. Okay, so what I'll do is this password. Yeah, this is it. Let's do yeah, so, yeah. Now you can see there is something written as now you can see there is something written as as rws that means it's a SUID set on this page so basically as per the normal functionalities so as uh, a normal user, I should be able to change my password. So let me log in as a normal user. Mm -hmm. Let me change the password on this. Okay, I'll give current password. Give the new password. Okay, now the password has been changed. Okay, this is a normal behavior. But have you ever thought like uh, what it does when you change password? It drives that password to etc. Shadow file. So how user, uh, normal user, uh, was able to perform a task that is supposed to be performed by a privileged user like root? Here the SUID does the work when SUID is set on a executable it, and that particular executable is executed it performs the task as of it is performing the task as the owner of the file So basically what you have to understand is there is two part of it. First part is so basically uh, the first part is like do we need the executable that set for other this executable file? The answer is yes. You need the executable set on the executable so that the other user can execute that file. But once the executable file has been executed, it does some privileged task which can be done by HRD. Like you can see the permission of the user when password like example script is Mm 
you can see that it is been set to executable by others also. Let's remove this permission. The permission of executable by others. We are done. Okay. Now we will check the basic functionality of the password file as we do it for the first time. Permission in that because we have removed the virtual permission from others. So let's get it. No. Back to normal. We will be able to see that. Now the second question is, uh, if we remove the passive ID, the normal user will be able to change his password, his or her password, let's see. Uh, let's change the password. I'll give the current password. No, that's wrong password. Okay. Oh. What is the password? Let me give you the right password. What is my right password? Hmm. Now I give the right password. Now let me turn the password. And let's kill chain error. So if the error, authentication token manipulation error, that means I is not able to change its own password because we have removed the ASU mission from the password executables. Now I'll change um, and I'll do is I'll replace that permission again to the password the executable and then we'll try to change the password and see. Okay. Now, this is it. What I'll do is say code for seven per part. So, then half one. Okay. Now, see. Yeah, you can see now. This has a game, so as we already have one set, now I will try to set the password and log in to look at your game, that's my honors, current password, now logged in, 
pastor parameter on a file SYD permission on the file effects on the behavior of a executable file thank you for watching this video thank you for